Coach Friend, you go to Nevada and you come away with two victories. Um, excellent, excellent weekend. Brian, yes, we did. <laughs> it, it, it was a really, really hard weekend. Um, you know, Reno, uh, though they haven't won one in conference yet, they're not making it easy for anybody. It's hard to play them in their stadium. Uh, took us into overtime uh, to get it done. I thought we showed a lot of poise, and you could just see a little bit of confidence going into overtime because we've been there before. <laughs> um, and, um, you know, UNLV, I think they started a little slow. Then we scored. That woke them up, and they just kept getting stronger as the game went on, and essentially – we defended for 45 minutes with a couple of counterattacks, and uh, we were very fortunate to uh, sneak out with a win on that day. And, and our, our senior, Brooke Rittman, just, she's just doing a heck of a job. Yeah, she's Mountain West Offensive Player of the Week, and I think she leads all scorers in the Mountain West. Did you know that this was coming this season for her? We knew she always had the potential. It was just a matter of giving her the opportunities, you know, creating those chances that uh, that you need to create to be able to get the opportunity to put one away. and. Three goals in three games, that's, uh, that's really big for us. And, uh, um, but really, I think the theme of the weekend was, was, our, was our defense, you know, and, and on, on that Sunday game, put 20 players into the game. You know, it been cold all week at the academy. It was cool in Reno, and it, it was not cool in Vegas. So we were running the sidelines, getting a little extra hydration, and uh, just trying to find a way to fight through. This week you go to Boise and Utah State. Tell us what you know about those teams. They're both good, uh, and they're really good at home. Um, you know, Jim over in Boise, you know, just every year that team gets better as he gets a chance to run that program. And uh, Heather at Utah State, I, th I thought they had one of the most dynamic offenses last year. So I don't, I don't think there'll be an easy game in conference. Uh, and if you remember, we were picked to finish 10th. So that's where we are right now until we can just take care of things one moment at a time. However, the current standings have you in first place. Does that give your team confidence going into a weekend like this? Yeah, I think really where they're getting the confidence is that we're focusing on taking care of the little things, you know, being technically strong, you know, putting pressure on the ball in the right places on the field, uh, working for each other all over the place. And the team has uh, done a really good job at that. Um, you know, there was a lot of cheering on the field after the game. Um, I'm not sure if it's because we beat UNLV or if we promised them in and out burgers finished with milkshakes if they finished in regulation time. And, and that might have been what the celebration was about. But whatever works, we'll take it. <laughs> Fantastic. Good luck this weekend. Thanks.